¿Ven? La, la misma temática de siempre. Reaccionamos a algo, almuerzo y volvemos a la reacción. Kabi Lami's comment section has gotten pretty brutal. Fall off is crazy, your time is over, bro. ¿Qué onda con esa calidad, brother? Put the fries in the bag, all of which have appeared in just the last few months. Why has this pretty likable TikToker suddenly had his entire audience turn on him? Well, judging by another comment reading, why did we make him the most followed person on TikTok? People are starting to think that he doesn't really deserve it. He gained 162 million followers by repeating a pretty simple formula. Find ridiculous videos of people exerting too much effort on the most basic know, tasks, no, okay. then show how to do it in a much easier way. Can't believe he got that big just from reacting to humans being dumb. Even Kabi Lami himself stated, my videos are simple and easy, but achieving a point of simplicity, ok, there were people who weren't happy with Kabi Lami's fame. Judging by 46.2 million followers for what, and 8.8 million likes for what, people thought there was too much reward for too little effort, which can often turn into a person becoming hated. Take for example the Huck Tua girl. She's not disliked because she's a rude or terrible person. She's disliked because her success hasn't been earned. Without seeing his history on the platform, viewers might perceive Kabi in a similar way. As a low effort TikToker who makes 750,000 per post for holding out his hands in a 20 second video. The main joke is that Kabi gained over 100 million followers by doing nothing. On the unpopular opinion subreddit, one user wrote Kabi Lami is boring, not funny, predictable, low effort and famous just because he uses other people's content. 90% of his TikToks are low effort. He has a few quality vids, but that's it. He shouldn't deserve the recognition he's got right now. I really have nothing against the guy, just that there are some people who put real effort and can't get through and I don't think that's fair. Others didn't like him simply because they thought he wasn't funny. It hurts me because his vids just aren't good and he has so many likes. Honestly, I'm glad I'm not the only one who didn't find him that funny, but there's a much stranger reason that people began to hate him. Kabi posted a simple Instagram story, say no to racism, posted with a separate video in which he'd help a white person pull a sword out of the ground. It was captioned in a racist society, it's not enough to be non-racist. We must be anti-racist. But after this, Kabi made a brand new story. I'm seeing a lot of comments where people says, I unfollowed you because you did this video. I don't mind guys. We are almost in 2022 and people still use racism because they have nothing to do in their life. You can also unfollow me. I don't care about the numbers. I care about your hearts. This was followed by another post reading. Instead of wasting your time writing negative comments criticizing, try to help people. Although this controversy only ended after being overshadowed by a brand new scandal. Comments began to appear on his videos. I hope this man beats Charlie. Kabi's more talented than Charlie. I have a feeling that he might pass Charlie. Charlie D'Amelio was TikTok's most followed person, although Kabi was right years. behind her with only 4 million less. Charlie losing her title therefore became a possibility, resulting in a war between the two creators. People began devising strategies to make Kabi the most followed. If you want to help, start commenting Kabi to number one on every video that you see on your FYP. Charlie's fans fall back, writing, There's no way people actually support Kabi Lami. He's literally racist and sexist. He body shames people. We all know damn well that if Charlie did one of these things, her career would be over. A different video added, so basically Kabi did something so bad. He body shamed a girl, but what were these TikToks even talking about? Well, an account named Cancelling Kabi Lami re-uploaded one of his videos with the caption, Why is this man obsessed with body shaming girls? It showed three examples of Kabi reacting to women poorly, which was paired with another video of him joking about a dude's obesity. People then discovered Kabi telling women to wash the dishes, resulting in mainstream news articles and some pretty heavy backlash. Body shaming is so disgusting. Ew. That's so rude, I can't believe he'd do that. As a result, Kabi lost 400,000 followers before the day was over, although people then recognized what was going on. They're cancelling Kabi because he's
is gonna pass Charlie. Yeah. Carby therefore regained 1.5 million followers. Bro, it in serio. Ironically helping him become the most followed TikToker. Although Carby Lamy's reputation has been trending downwards ever since that day. Bro disappeared from my FYP after he became the most followed on TikTok. Ever since he passed Charlie, he's not been on my FYP, also being noticed by Noah Glenn Carter. Because he's basically done nothing since becoming number one. Like, he never even made a video celebrating or acknowledging that he was now the number one most followed TikToker. And since becoming number one, he's posted once, maybe twice a week. As mentioned, Kabi went from making six or seven videos per day to basically never posting. He instead began to state, I want to make films. This is my main objective. I've wanted to make movies since I was a child, almost implying he was better than his TikTok audience. When he did post a video, it was often just an ad. Kabi did promotions for Airbnb, Hugo Boss, even Facebook, and by disrespecting his audience with loads of different ads, the audience would also lose respect for him. He used to be so famous. How did bro get forgotten? People started posting TikToks such as maturing is realizing that Kabi Lamy was never funny and that whole race for him to Charlie was lame as well as bro can we all agree that Kabi Lamy wasn't even funny we just wanted him to pass Charlie D'Amelio in followers which on its own gained almost a million Wow. Likes. I mean sometimes he was low key funny but it got old real quick hinting at Kabi's next problem as far back as 2021 people were already stating it's the same thing every single time. I know exactly what's gonna happen in this goddamn video. Honestly, Kabi's videos were funny at first, but the joke got old after a while. He was really funny at the start, but his joke is getting old. He never does. Es que, a ver. Es que hay que tocar ser honesto. Si uno se acostumbra bastante a ver algo muy seguido, obviamente con el paso del tiempo uno se acostumbra a ser honesto. Si tomamos por ejemplo una canción, sale una canción y usted dice. Parce, soy mazo y yo voy a escuchar esta vaina 20 mil veces. Y la ponen hasta, no sé, de pronto hasta de alarma, porque de pronto se motivan más. Y después de tanto tiempo que ustedes ya la escuchan, ya como que van diciendo como, ya me estoy aburriendo, y buscan algo más. No sé si lo que pueda decir suene bien o mal, pero... El caso de que, de, de que vi, fue yo creo que más como tema de... De lo de, ya saben, del 2020 al... 21, 22 más o menos por si son moscas hasta ahí todo muy bien él pudo haber, él pudo haber sido lo más famoso de TikTok pero esos tiempos ya pasaron la gente ya no usa como TikTok tan seguido como lo fue en esos tiempos que no creo que YouTube me permita decir la palabra pero en esos tiempos todo fue eso cuestión de lo que hiciste en esos, en esos tiempos. Estoy repitiendo mucho la palabra tiempo, pero bueno, ya me entiendo, creo que se me entendieron como entender. Entonces, el caso aquí es, ya se acabó lo que nos mantuvo encerrados por mucho tiempo, ya todos salieron a, a las calles otra vez, la gente ya hizo su vida, ya nadie se la pasa diciendo, bro, ¿qué, qué ha hecho esta persona? Porque antes, durante esos tiempos, cuando nos, nos habían encerrado, todos miraban TikTok y, wow, esto está muy bueno, vamos a hacer este tren, jajaja. Ja, ja. Fue simplemente eso. Cosa de que era, estábamos encerrados, buscábamos mucho los videos de semana y salían bastantes porque la gente se la pasaba mucho tiempo en TikTok. Pero ya casi nadie usa redes sociales, yo creo. Creo. Entonces, puede ser ese el problema does anything else but these kind of videos. Well, now it's three years later and the joke still hasn't changed. His lack of changing content becomes a lack of growth for which the audience trashes him in comment after comment. But it's been especially bad recently. On the 14th of August, this person commented, Kabi always knows how to keep it simple and hilarious, but only two weeks later, the same person's now stating, just put the fries in the bag, bro. In the past, Kabi Lamy stated, Of course, the people, they will always have found something bad to do you. I think it's just part of the life. And turning his back on TikTok has definitely had some benefits. He'd appear in the recent Bad Boys movie, is now a judge on Italy's Got Talent, and most notably, he's about to release his own feature film called Double O Kabi. <laughs> Ven lo que yo digo.
es simplemente cuestión del pasado. El man dijo, pues la neta, tarde o temprano va a ser como que va a buscar como que algo malo para que se hable de tal persona. Y era eso. El man ya pasó, solo fue, fue el TikToker número uno. Y el man dijo, bueno, no pasa nada interesante por acá. Pues yo puedo hacer mi vida. Que no creo que el man, o la gente esperara que este man fuera a depender hasta que cerraran TikTok de, de eso. El punto es, nada es para siempre. Si ustedes ven algo que les gusta, intenten sacar el mayor provecho porque tarde o temprano en un futuro ya va, va, va a terminar. Me pasaba, por ejemplo, a mí con el fútbol. Yo de pequeño, yo miraba mucho el fútbol. Eh, yo miraba lo que fue la Premier, la Bundesliga y todas esas vainas. Más a la esta local, pero cuando era tema como gratuito, por así decirlo, no, uno tiene que pagar. Y eso es lo que actualmente pasa. No todo va a ser para siempre. Hay que aprovechar las cosas. Tarde o temprano te aburre. Ya digan después de haberlo aprovechado. Porque es que muchas veces dicen, ay, recuerdo tal cosa, tal cosa, tal cosa. Y ahí se queda. Entonces, las cosas cambian.